thanks very much. When Joanne Osprey went looking for a new home in Benoit, Mississippi, she found what could be the latest thing in creative housing. For $2,000, she bought herself a Boeing 727 jetliner and converted it into a home. She brought all her furniture aboard and is now enjoying life overlooking Whittington Lake. Joanne, good morning. Good morning, Brian. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Give me a brief version. How did you come by this 727 home? Uh, my brother-in-law was air traffic controller, and we was having supper one night, and I told him, I said, um, Bob, I said, be looking for me a fairly new mobile home to put on the lake. He said, well, Joanne, what about an airplane? I said, an airplane? He said, yeah. I said, tell me something about it. He said, it's big. It's a 727. He said, it's big enough to live in. Um, uh, you know, we went on, and I thought about it all night. I didn't sleep at all. So the next morning, we were having breakfast, and I said, when can I see this airplane? So he said, almost any time. I said, what about tomorrow at 2 o'clock? Uh, he said, fine, I'll set it up. So I was so excited. Go ahead. I was so excited about it, I went at 12. <laughs> and uh, I went out there and looked at it, and I walked in it, and I met the guys at the Memphis group in Greenwood, and... Uh, I said, I walked in it, and I knew right then... It sure, you fell in love beautiful. with it. Look, let me ask you this. After buying the fuselage, how'd you manage to get the clearance to put it wherever you want it? Uh, the house moving company has to do that. I own the lot. Okay, no problem there. How much did it cost you to outfit the plane with the necessary heating, plumbing, and electrical elements to use it as a home? Probably around $30,000, but I missed off about... 5000 going to do it my way, which it wouldn't work, so, you know. Yeah. Give me the sales pitch. What's the best thing about living in a 727? It is so comfortable. It's so neat. It's so well insulated, convenient. There's nothing bad about it. Is it peaceful? It is peaceful. You can't even hear downstairs. Is it warm? It's warm. Can you it's cool it? Warm. Huh? Can you cool it? Yes, it's Thank God, yes. It's hot in Mississippi. Your home is, as I understand it, we're looking at the inside of it now, 127 feet, 127 feet long and 12 feet wide. That kind of, of linear living space doesn't get to you? No, it's wonderful. Trust me, there's plenty of room. You don't get the least bit claustrophobic, huh? Not any whatsoever. What do your neighbors think about all this? Well, there's Joanne? pros and cons. There's pros and cons. Um, some think it's awesome. Some think it might make their property depreciate. I just hope they enjoy it as much as I do when I'm through with it. Yeah, you can understand how, how they might be upset about living next to a 727. That's right. Yeah. Um, your, is there anything you couldn't include in this home that you would have in another one? No, not anything. Nothing at all? Well, maybe a ceiling fan. Yeah. Tell me about the jacuzzi that you put in the cockpit. It's great. <laughs> It's, it's called, uh, uh, what is it called? I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> well, that's all right. That's where the master bath is, right? That's right. It overlooks the lake. Now, you've told me all the pluses. What's the worst thing about living in a fuselage? There's not any bad things about it. It's just wonderful. Don't you have to close an awful lot of windows when it's time to go to bed? Nope. No windows open. You can pull the shades down. That's what like. I meant, pull down the shades. Yeah. I know the windows don't open. <laughs> <laughs> but, but listen, they well, can't see you because you're so high. I got you. can you. see them. But I was worried about the light coming in as you're trying to sleep. I mean, you'd want the shades down, yeah? There's, if it, it's dark, you don't need any okay. shades. <laughs> it, let me... <laughs> Joanne, if, if you ever want to move, isn't it going to be a little difficult to, um, to try to sell this home to somebody? I'm not going to move. This is my home for life. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cleared for takeoff. Everything right. about it. I gathered that. Hey, Joanne, thank you for showing us around. Appreciate it. You're right. Welcome. You take care of yourself. Thank you. We're nice <laughs> talking to you. We're, we're, gonna, we're providing the sound effects. 14 past the hour. We're back up to this. <laughs> Good old days of supermarket shopping. Where nothing stood between you and your next meal. Nothing. But today, there are materials that help lock out harmful contaminants and reduce spoilage, keeping us safe and the food we eat fresh. Plastics make it possible. So now, the rest is history.